This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning, everyone. We continue in Mishnah Bro Dafashro. We're learning Simon Yod Zayin. We're in the middle of Sif Beis. The Machaber said that women, Avadim, are Pater because it's uh, from Tzitzis, because it's Mangrama. By the way, that's not Pasha that Tzitzis is Mangrama because we're going to see it's Machlekes Rishonim. Is it that you're putter during the night, or is it that a night garment is putter from tzitzis? According to the Rishonim that learn that a night garment is putter from tzitzis, then it's not pasha that tzitzis is man grama. It's not zman grama. Certain begadim are chayiv, certain are not. What kind of begadim? Those that are worn during the night, but that doesn't necessarily make it zman grama. But at face value, we're assuming it's zman grama. Women are putter, and if they want to make a bracha on it. They can, like other mitzvah saseh shazman grama. However, it looks like you, Hara. Therefore, women should not wear tzitzis. Um, and the Rama added, they should not wear tzitzis. Hoyo ve'enoi choy gavra, Because it's not obligatory on the person. What does that mean? Perosh. Enoi chayv liknois loy talis kadei sheis chayv tzitzis. You're not obligated to purchase talis in order to be chayv in tzitzis. Ul kamon besimen yotes amar. Later on, in Simeutes, it's explained that when you have a talus of Dalit Kanfos, then you have to put it on. In other words, the Rama, according to the Mishnah Bura, is explaining why do women make a bracha on a lulav, which is also Zman Grama. The answer is, lulav is Chayvas Gavra. Because even, but when it comes to... Um, since this is not a chayvas gavra, man does not have a biblical obligation to buy dalit kafras. It's just if he does, he has to put on tzitzis. But lulav, whereby the man is chayvas gavra, so therefore women should say uh, a bracha. In other words, the Ramah says if they want to make a bracha, they can. But since it looks like gaiva, they should not wear tzitzis. Fine. Um, we saw something very uh, unbelievable that's worthwhile mentioning. Namely, uh, why do why could women say vitzivanu? So if Shlomo Zalman says um, that technically, technically they could say vitzivanu. Number one, provided that they put sitzis on their dress. In other words, they can't take a bag of dalit kamfos like a man and wear it as sitzis because that's big dayish. But if they want to put sitzis on their blouse, that would be okay. Now, another thing we pointed out from the Bi'ar Allah and some Kovtsadi, Le'inyan Tekiah Shoifar, that since there is no remez in the Torah that women are Metsuva in Shoifar, they're better off not making the bracha. In other words, they're allowed to make vitzivanu, but they're better off somebody else saying it. Which means, according to that bir halacha, that when women take dalit, um, somehow if women take dalit minim, which many women do, it would be better if they get a man to be moitzi them in the bracha. Um, what about a guy? If Shomaz Zalman says a guy who wears tzitzis gets schar. A guy who takes Dalad Minim gets schar, but they cannot say Vitzivanu. A woman who's Bechlal Klal Yisrael, they could say Vitzivanu because men are chayiv. A guy, they get schar for doing the mitzvah. Now, by the way, which we pointed out, that was, that's a jolting thought. So just, <laughs> when, you want to, when you think about, well, how much schar? A woman says, I want to do the mitzvah because I get schar. A guy also gets schar. I mean, the, just, you have to know what the... the, the the scale here is, you know, when, when we say that women are putter from mitzvahs, we're not dealing with tremendous schar over here. That if they do the mitzvah, they get great schar. Oh, you know, women run to shoifar. Okay, they accept it upon themselves. But goyim could also come here shoifar. If a goy here shoifar, they, they get a mitzvah. They're going to get reward. No, ilam abba. You know that? Goy c- comes to shol, he hears a shoifar, he gets a reward. It's just uh, women also. But so we're not dealing with major schar. It's gadol mitzvah. So fine. Now, let's continue in the Mechaber. Tumtum androgynous chayov misafik. Someone who his gender is uh, covered up, or someone who's a suffik, is chayv misafik, and says it's bracha. They do itif without a bracha.
That's also a pellet. Why shouldn't they make a bracha? A woman who's vaday putter could make a bracha, the Ramah says. Um, so why shouldn't they, Tumtum and Androgynous, make a bracha? Um, says the Ramah, Perish Tumtum Loi Noidem and Zachar Nekeva, Tumtum, we don't know if it's male or female, Androgynous, Yeshle Zachas and Akvas, Androgynous has both Simanim. Fimashinagu Noshim Va'a, Fimashinagu Noshim Varchim, it's a sesh, as man grama, gam him, Yavarchu. In other words, the, that's the shita of the mechaber that women don't make a bracha, but we, our shita is women do make a bracha, so they could make a bracha. Let's see the mission bracha. Chayavim misafik, the safik taira lechumra. A safik that rises lechumra can cause a base yosef. This implies the davar shechiyuva rak midrabanan, something which the chiyuv is only midrabanan could go in talis. For example, a talis. Shuula Achar Shloshim Yom the Chanal B'Simin Yodalid. This implies something that the Chiyuv is only Midrabanan. Let's say a talis that's borrowed after thirty days. Oy Begat Shechiyuv Arak Mitam Safek Kugain Begat Shechetsiyah B'Sov Chetsiyah Sasim V'Chanal B'Simin Yod Siv Zayin Rasha and Leilach Boy Beloy Tzitzis. Meaning, why are we Mechayev Tum Tum Androgin Is Kas Safek Daraisu L'Chumra? So they have to put tzitzis on their garment. That implies a beget of dalit kamfois that is only chayv midrabanan. You don't have to. But I'm primer galus gosav oid keinze. Look at the primer galus who writes similar to this. Vulai di yisachem chosem ne maras ayin. It could be yishvi machmer al smaras ayin. V'chadi isa sham besef ches. I don't know if that's pashad. Yes, we say savik drabanan lekula. But here, just put on the tzitzis. What's the big deal? In other words, by other inyanim, there might be a ramifications the other way. Maybe you shouldn't make a bracha. Maybe you shouldn't. But, but somebody who has a beged, it's chayiv midrabana misafek. So, that you could, so don't put it on. That's what I would say. Don't put on the beged. Take off the beged. Why? In other words, why should you put on a beged that might be chayiv midrabana and tzitzis? Don't take on... So you say that's the guy's shirt. So maybe in Hanami, the guy has no clothing. This is his only clothing. So um, he doesn't... So he's allowed to wear it without tzitzis. Okay. Says the Mishra Belay Bracha. Kivan the Ikra Chiv Arak Misham Sveika. Since the Ikra Chiv is only out Safek. Le'inyin Bracha Shum Medrabanan Azlinam Balakula. Regarding the bracha, which only mejabanu we go lekula va'ayin lekaman b'sim samachzayin b'mishabura mashenichtav shem meretz hashem kama klalim b'shem hapoiske mazah zacharus v'nakvus v'ugam kein safek zachar o inakeva. He's also safek male or female va'ayin baritz hashachayim shevi rai mekama kohen sam askin kein laalachu do together safek. The Malbim brings many proofs that a androgynous is considered a safek v'loy command amar do bari b'fnei atzma not like the opinion that he's an entity uh, unto himself. Siv Gimel, Katan Hayodea Les Atef Aviv Tzarchla Likach Loi Tzitzis Lachanchai. A Katan who knows how to wrap himself, the father is obligated to buy him tzitzis to train him. Now this is soisa everything we've learned in Hilchas Tzitzis until now, because we've just been saying there's no chayvas gavra to put on a four corner garment and put tzitzis on it. It's only a chayvas. That if it's only a chiv, that if you happen to be wearing a four cornered garment, you have to put And now we're saying, not only for yourself do you have to go out of your way, implied in this is you have to go out of your way to wear a four cornered garment. You got to train your kid to get a four cornered garment and put strings on it. That's only if he knows how to wrap two in front of him, two behind him. He knows how to hold the tzitzis in his hand at the time of Shema. Says Mishra wrote Perish. Likach loy dat beged shel dalad kanfoy shel hatav by tzitzis to take a beged of four corners and to put tzitzis kedei lechan choy b'mitzvays. V'shir talisoy. How big should his tzitzis be? Because we're going to make some tazayin of their chachayim. Shehu kedei les atif by roshe berubay shaloi. It doesn't have to be of a nine-year-old that we said earlier, but rather his own. And if he's smaller, then so be it. However big or small he is. Then the father has to put tzitzis on him and make a bracha with him. 
If it doesn't have the shir for him, you don't make a bracha. Says the Shevet Alevi, what if the kid is not reached the age of chinuch, but he is, let's say, of age to make a bracha, and he has Uncle Moshe Tzitzis, which is enough to cover the size of a newborn, of an embryo, at maybe 40 days. You know, they're tiny, those things. They're, they're, they're like blindfolds that they give you on the airplane. So then you could put it on the kid and he can make a bracha. Okay, so he's at the age of bracha, but not at the age of tzitzis. L'chanchay. This is if he hasn't reached 13. Avol mi yud gimel the ela chayv et tzitzis kagadol. From 13 on, he's chayv and tzitzis like a gadol. Mashu kasa bedrashas maharo belchus nesuin shenoigim shigam na arim gadolim in misad from et tzitzis ad shenoizim la nashim. I the maril brings that boys who are over 13 they don't wrap themselves in tzitzis until they get married. V'samchu lohen akra dechsev gadolim tasselacha v'samach leki kachish isha. That's a davar tamua. The ad shelo yisa yisha yia yoshi v'batom is a tzitzis. What? Someone's not going to wear tzitzis until he gets married. It's a nice drasha, but you don't you don't uh, learn out halachas from drashas. So it's mashma that the mishabura grips the maril that they did not wear a talis katan before they got married, and therefore he's matmiya. How are they uh, bata from tzitzis? Even though, by the way, the maril is not necessarily mashin that way. Maril, all, all the maril means is you don't wear a talis gadol until you get married. That's what the maril says that they were not misatef in the talis till they got married. And um, the question is, so why is the mishabura gripping the maril that the maril is saying they didn't even wear a talis kata? And he's asking, how could they not wear a talis kata until they got married? He should have r- realized that what the maril means is that they didn't wear a talis gado until they got married. So there's a tshuva in the tzitz aliyazar, chelek chaf simen ches, quoted by Dershu, that the mishabura gripped the maril this way, is that if the maril is saying this smichus, and we're darshaning it from a pasuk, then uh, the Mishmu gripped it at face value that you don't wear tzitz until you get married. Now, I'm not sure that the Maril meant that. Probably the Maril is just uh, finding an illusion in the Pasuk that the Indian of Talas Gadol does not begin until uh, one gets married. Okay, we'll hold it over here. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.